Um, when I was 13, almost eight years ago, my cousin was murdered. I found out uh, from my mom, because the police came and she had to identify her through a picture, and um, I had a really hard time dealing with it. I was immediately put into counseling because they thought that I had PTSD. Um, I saw that counselor for a while. I was sort of trained to talk about what happened to my cousin. And then after that, I stopped going to counseling and things got really hard because I didn't talk to anyone because I didn't want to deal with it. And then I decided to see the same counselor that my mom was seeing because she really liked her. And I saw her about two years after Dana died and I saw her for probably two or three years myself. And that really helped me be able to talk about my emotions involving Dana and just life things. And I eventually learned to talk to my parents about it and my family. It's still hard to tell my friends what happened if none of them know. But um, I got a tattoo of her initials and the year she was born and the year she died just sort of for myself to just know I'm always thinking about her. Um, if I'm having a hard time now, I don't go to counseling now, but I will write her letters just to get my emotions out because that helps. Um, I have talked about her to other people. I'm going to school for social work to be a grief counselor, so I'm sort of giving back that. Uh, if there was a safe line, I think I necessarily wouldn't have used it because I'm not good at telling my emotions to someone, especially if I don't know them. But I think if I didn't have such a strong family support, it would have been really nice for me to have that.